In this Python nice GUI tutorial, we will learn how to use the switch element. There are two switch elements in the web application. Depending on the enabled switch element, the appropriate visual and text are displayed on the screen. In the video, I will show step by step how to make a web application. To support us, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel and like the video. I will create a switch element for basketball. I create a variable for the switch element. The parameter sent to the switch function represents the name of the object. You can access emojis using this website. I shared the website in the description section of the video. I save the code file and run it. You can go to this address using any browser. I added the switch element for basketball to the web page. I'm adding a switch element for football. I can copy and paste. I am making the necessary arrangements. I am saving the code file. I added both switch elements to the web page. I want to perform an action when switch elements are enabled. I can do this using the onChange feature. This function will be called every time the switch element is changed. I define the function. I will print the turtle code on the console screen using the print function. I am saving the code file. Every time the switch element changes, a turtle code is printed on the console screen. I add a text element to the web page using the label function instead of print. I can find out whether the switch element is enabled or not by using the value function on the switch variable. I do the same for the football switch element. When the state of any switch element changes, Information about whether the objects are enabled or not is displayed in the label object. Now I learned how to find out whether switch objects are enabled or not. If basketball is enabled but football is not enabled, I will change the text property of the label element accordingly. I can do this using the set text function. I am sending the text suitable for the function. I create the label element outside the function. I am saving the code file. When the basketball switch object is enabled, the appropriate text is displayed on the screen. I do the same process for the football switch object. I can copy and paste. I organize the if query according to the football object. I am saving the code file. Appropriate text is displayed on the screen according to the selected switch element. But there are some problems. Even if both switch objects are disabled, the text continues to be displayed. Or the text is displayed even when two switch objects are enabled. I will fix these problems one by one. I am defining an if query. If both switch objects are enabled, 
I will prevent the label object from being displayed. I can do this using the set visibility function. If one of the two switch objects is enabled, I define the set visibility function as true. I am saving the code file. If both switch objects are enabled, the label object is not shown. If both switch objects are disabled, the label object continues to be displayed. Let's solve this problem too. I'm defining an if query. If both switch objects are disabled, I will prevent the label object from being displayed. I am saving the code file. The program works as I want. Only if one of the switch objects is enabled, the label object is shown on the screen. I do not want the label object to appear at the beginning. Therefore, I set the set visibility property to false to start with. I will show appropriate images on the web page according to the enabled switch elements. I am defining an image element. I set the size using the classes function. I set the visibility value of the image object to false to start with. Additionally, if two switch objects are enabled or two switch objects are disabled, I prevent the image object from appearing. If only one of the two switch objects is enabled, I make the image object appear. I can place appropriate images into the image object by using the set source function. I will use these images in the application. You can download the images from the GitHub link in the description of the video. I add appropriate images to the if queries. I am saving the code file. Depending on the enabled switch element, the appropriate visual and text are displayed on the screen. The constraints are working the way we want. In this video, we learned how to use the switch element. To support us, you can subscribe to the YouTube channel and like the video.